22 years ago, I stood where I stand now and watched my loved ones die, betrayed by those I had called friends. Vengeance clouded my mind. It would have consumed me were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers who taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers, but guided me to learn from myself. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. Not Savonarola, not the Medici. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. And too many of you gladly give it. But it is our ability to choose whatever you think is true that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers, to show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me or anyone else. Volpe, how goes Roma? Very well, Ezio. The French and Papal forces are in disarray. Then it is almost time. Call the assassins together. And... bring Claudia. Now? Yes. La Ashaya Wakton Mutlak, Bel Kulun Mumkin. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Claudia, we here dedicate our lives to protecting the freedom of humanity. Mario, our father, and our brother once stood around this fire, fighting off the darkness. Now, I offer the choice to you. Join us. You and I have not seen eye to eye on many issues. Niccolò! But you are exactly what the Order needed. You have led the charge against the Templars and rebuilt this brotherhood. Now we must put Ezio where he belongs. At the head of the Assassins. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You will now be known as Il Mentore, the guardian of our Order and our secrets. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing, nothing is, is true. true. Where other men are limited by morality and law, remember, everything, everything is, is permitted. Why the sudden change of heart? I have always stood by you. I was the one who brought you to Roma, and the one who caused the explosion as you fled the castello. The mercenari who protected you at Il Colosseo were mine as well. You just did not know it. Maestro Machiavelli! Cesare has returned to Roma alone! He rides for the Castel Sant'Angelo! Grazie. Well? The decision is yours, not mine. Niccolò, you better not stop telling me what you think. Why else would I seek the opinion of my most trusted advisor? Go kill them, Mentore. Finish what you started. Good advice. I intend to write a book about you one day. If you do, make it short. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now. Safe and in high spirits, 
but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose, to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle, a sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only. Towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Should anything happen to me, Claudia, should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. Brothers, sisters, the whole city rises against us, while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. Another artifact? No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind, like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. I know you are listening. I have lived my life as best I could, not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. But I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we? 
who have been so blessed to share our stories like this, to speak across centuries. Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen. When I was a young man, I had liberty, but I did not see it. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. Many decades would pass before I understood the meaning of all three. And now, in the twilight of my life, this understanding has passed into containment. Love liberty, and time, once so disposable, are the fuels that drive me forward, and love most especially, mio caro, for you, our children, our brothers and sisters, and for the vast and wonderful world that gave us life and keeps us guessing, endless affection. Sophia, forever yours, Ezio Auditore.